This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on how to use roles in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create and modify roles. So let's start with a definition. Roles allow us to label and organize clips. Now just think about that for a second. Roles allow us to label and organize clips. They're an organizational tool. A role is a category. It's a metadata label that's applied to every clip in a library. Roles are automatically assigned to each clip during import. Roles can be modified at any time after import in the browser, in the inspector, or in the timeline. And roles and subroles can be created, renamed, and colored as needed. Let's take a look more specifically at exactly what it means to create a role. For instance, here, let's just put our playhead on this shot. I could right mouse click and say assign audio roles or video roles. And notice at the bottom of this menu, there's a choice called edit roles. This allows us to create new roles. While I can do that, most of the time I create roles by going up to the modify menu. And in the modify menu, I can assign roles to my audio clips or to my video clips or to captions, which allows me to specify whether captions are English or French or Spanish. And this is the choice that I most often use when I want to create new roles. This opens up the role dialog. These are the five roles that ship with Final Cut titles and video, dialogue, effects, and music. Final Mix is one that I've created. Hmm. I don't really need Final Mix, so I'll click the minus button and delete it. I can't delete the five that Apple created, but I can delete the ones that I create. In fact, I actually do need Final Mix. I'll explain why a little bit later in this presentation. So how do I create a new role? Well, we can create a new video role by clicking this plus button or click a new audio role by clicking this plus button. So let's click this audio role and notice it comes up untitled. We're going to call it Final Mix and press the Enter key or just click outside the box. Except, well, you and I both know that as soon as we label anything as final, <laughs> it never is. So this is actually not going to be the final mix. This is going to be the final, final mix. Except it isn't. It is actually called the final, final, hopefully final mix. <laughs> you get the point. In other words, I can delete any custom role I can create a new custom role, I can rename a role, and I can change the name at any time whether the role has already been applied to a clip or not. In this case, this actually is the final mix, so we'll leave it at final mix. I can create what are called subroles. These are subcategories within a role, and to illustrate this, I'm going to go up to titles and see this expand button. When I click it, I can see that two subroles have already been created. I have titles which are in English and titles which are in Spanish. I want to create a new subcategory, a new subrole for titles which are French. So now I've created off the titles role three subcategories called subroles. I can change the name anytime I want. Well, let's go down to effects. Here I have two subroles, spot effects like whooshes and sirens and explosions and ambience, except I think SFX would make more sense if I called it ambience, which lasts for a longer time. I'm going to create another subrole and I'm going to call it whooshes. Except really, when you think about it, whooshes are spot effects. They're not ambiences. They last for a very short period of time. So let's pretend, just between us, let's pretend that I've assigned whooshes to some clips and spot sound effects to other clips. Just pretend that I have. These are labels. Just like you label file folders, we can label our clips. And I want to consolidate these labels. To consolidate a label, I simply grab this three-line thumb, drag it on top of where I want to consolidate it, and all the whooshes have now been relabeled spot sound effects. 
Why do we care? Roles are used for organizing our clips. Just as we want to have folders with labels that make sense and get our paper lives organized or folders on the desktop to get our computer lives organized, roles allow us to label and organize our clips. So we can create new roles, create new sub-roles, rename roles, rename sub-roles, merge sub-roles. We can even, in fact, change the color. Notice I've got this color wheel right here. This opens up a pre-built set of colors from Apple. Click on it, and I've now changed all effects so that not only is the effect have this color, but every clip assigned to this effect has this color. I'm going to click Apply, and it says, you sure? Yep, I am. And notice that my winter wind, which was teal, is now plum. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on how to use roles in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 257. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.